Characteristics of Effective Prayer By Mike Bickle March 3, 2016 One very important condition for effective prayer is to be committed to walking out a lifestyle of righteousness before God and people, as indicated in James 5 verse 16. The effective prayer of a righteous man avails much. This biblical condition is often minimized or totally ignored, even by people who are deeply involved in the prayer and worship movement today. A righteous person is any believer who sets his heart to obey Jesus, as he seeks to walk in godly character with a lifestyle of practicing the truth 1 John 1 verse 6. If we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie and do not practice the truth. Setting our hearts to obey is very important, even if we fall short of mature, consistent obedience. There is no such thing as a person who is so mature in righteousness that he is above all temptation and never falls short in his walk with God. In other words, the prayers of a righteous person include the prayers of imperfect, weak people, such as you and me, who sincerely seek to walk in righteousness even as we stumble in our weakness. The Apostle John declared that the Lord hears and responds to us because we keep His commands and do the things that are pleasing to Him. Whatever we ask we receive from Him because we keep His commandments and do those things that are pleasing in His sight. 1 John 3 verse 22 Prayer is no substitute for obedience. I have met those who imagine that, if they pray and fast more, they can walk in a little immorality or be dishonest in their finances or slander the people who cause pressure in their lives. They think that being extra zealous in the spiritual disciplines will balance out areas of persistent compromise. But praying more does not compensate for unrepented sins that we deliberately continue to commit, as this verse from Isaiah makes clear, Your sins have hidden his face from you, so that he will not hear, Isaiah 59 verse 2. Prayer is far more boring and difficult if we seek to live one part of our lives as if it belonged to God and another part as if it belonged to us. There is a dynamic relationship between our lifestyle and our ability to enjoy prayer. Our spiritual capacity to experience and enjoy God increases as we walk in purity. Jesus emphasized this truth in the Sermon on the Mount, Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God, Matthew 5 verse 8. Where there is ongoing, willful compromise in our lives, it will greatly hinder our spiritual growth, and our capacity to agree with God in prayer. Sin hinders our love for Him. We must sincerely seek to live in wholehearted obedience, because obedience is not optional in the kingdom life. When we come up short in our obedience, we must acknowledge it and confess it rather than seek to rationalize it. We call it sin, we repent of it, and we freely receive God's forgiveness. Then we push delete and immediately stand, once again, with confidence in God's presence. Walking in obedience is not about seeking to earn the answers to our prayers. It is about living in agreement with love, because God is love. The truth of the necessity of keeping God's commandments is overlooked by some who teach on prayer. It is more popular to emphasize our authority in Christ. That is also an essential truth, but the lifestyle of the one praying does matter.